Hello, I'm Dr. Larson, board certified neurosurgeon specializing in minimally invasive spine surgery. Today I'm going to show a minimally invasive anterior cervical discectomy infusion, a procedure designed to remove a disc herniation and bone spurring that's compressing the spinal cord and then restore height and lordosis or curve to the, to the neck, to the cervical spine. I'm going to use a novel device, a little cage that has an integrated plate into it that's very low profile and offers a less invasive approach to reconstructing the spine. A standard anterior cervical approach is taken to the disc space of interest. The procedure is performed under a microscope. Anterior osteophytes are removed with a high-speed drill. The discectomy is completed with a series of curettes and a pituitary rangeur. A small curette can be used to confirm the extent of decompression, which can be viewed under fluoroscopy. The disc space is trialed for the appropriate size cage. The Lordata cage is selected to restore the normal curve of the spine. In this case, a 6 millimeter height cage is selected and packed with the bone grafting material and then tapped into position into the disc space, restoring lordosis, restoring the curve of the spine, and confirming it by x-ray. A low-profile integrated plating system is used to stabilize the construct to the adjacent vertebral bodies The inserter is removed, the area is inspected, and final x-ray confirms proper position of the instrumentation. I'm Dr. Larson, anterior cervical discectomy infusion using LDR's ROIC. Thank you for watching.